Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to upload your own Minecraft Bedrock single player world to your server. Firstly, I'd like to mention that this will only work with the official Bedrock servers and not with Pocketmine or anything similar. This is because Pocketmine has a different world format and so this will not work with Pocketmine servers. Alright, now knowing that, let's get started. Locate your Bedrock world by pressing the Windows key and searching for percent local app data percent. Then open the packages folder, then find the microsoft.minecraftuwp folder, then go into local state, games, com.mojang and finally find Minecraft worlds. Then you will see a bunch of folders if you have a lot of worlds. These are basically the worlds which you will need to upload to your server. They will have random names and if you open them they should have similar files inside to what's shown on the screen now. If they don't, these are the wrong folders. You can open the level name text document to see the actual name of the world. Now let's upload this world to our server. Firstly, make sure you're in the Minecraft Worlds folder, then click on the address bar and copy what's inside it. You will need this later. Now, go to your control panel and make sure that the server is turned off. Then, head into Files and into the Worlds folder. Here is where you'll need to upload the world. Click the Upload Files button and press Select Folder. Then, in the address bar, paste what you've copied earlier which is the location of where your single player world is stored. Find the one you want to upload, select it and press upload. Then press upload once more and you're done. The last thing you'll need to do is make sure your server knows which world to run. As you can see, the world name folder is named a bit strangely, so I'm going to rename it by selecting it and pressing the rename button over here. Please do not include any special characters in the name. Now at the same time, I'm actually going to copy this name as I'll need it later. Go back to your home directory and open the server.properties file. Now replace the level name to whatever you name your world. Since I had it copied, I'm just going to paste it right here. Click the save button and start your server. Once the server is fully booted up, join the server and as you can see, it's the single player world. Now you can play your single player worlds with your friends. Apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any video tutorial suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.